Hi everyone, welcome to Dental Shots. Today is the part 10 of cementum series that is classification of cementum. According to the location, we can classify as radicular cementum and coronal cementum. You can think what is coronal cementum? Coronal cementum is nothing but sometimes the cementum overlaps on the enamel that is called coronal cementum and the bulk of the cementum which covers the root surface is called radicular cementum. Based on the time of formation of the cementum, they classify as primary and secondary cementum. When the cementum is formed before the tooth eruption, it is called primary cementum and if it is formed after the tooth eruption, it's called secondary cementum. Based on the presence or absence of collagen fibers, they are classified as afibrillar cementum and fibrillar cementum. As we all know, if it contains an intrinsic fiber or an extrinsic fiber or both intrinsic and extrinsic fiber, they call it as fibrillar cementum. If there is no collagen fibers which is formed in a thin layer contacting with the enamel surface, then it's called a fibrillar cementum. Based on the cellularity, the presence of cementocyte, we call it as cellular cementum and acellular cementum. And Schroeder in the year 1986 classified as acellular afibrillar cementum, acellular extrinsic fiber cementum, cellular mixed stratified cementum, cellular intrinsic fiber cementum, and intermediate cementum. According to Bouchard and Solvik in the year 1997, it is classified as acellular afibrillar cementum, acellular extensive fiber cementum, cellular intrinsic fiber cementum, cellular mixed fiber cementum. I hope you like the video. If you like it, like, share and comment and subscribe for dental shots. And do not forget to see the part 11 of cementum series concentrating on acellular cementum. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you all.